Well, Nevada could play a pivotal role in the nomination fight for the presidency. And in five weeks, our state will be the first western state and the third in the country to make its voice heard in the 2016 Democratic presidential primary. Uh, local lawmakers are hosting a mock caucus training ahead of caucus day. News Street's Christine Kim has details. Spring Valley High School transforming into a training ground. Uh, this mock caucus is uh, the first step or a first step uh, in what will ultimately happen on February the 20th. Senate Democratic Leader Aaron Ford and Assembly Democratic Leader Irene Bustamante Adams encouraging Nevadans to get involved early. Let your voice be heard. Don't let anybody take that away from you. It's one of our greatest gifts as we have as Americans. Those here learning how a caucus works. The mock caucus actually trained me and taught me how important it is to participate. So that's what I want them to take away. The Democratic nominee for the White House is chosen by the delegates at the Democratic National Convention. In our state, the process to become a national delegate begins with getting elected as a delegate at the precinct caucuses. As an eligible voter, you can run as a delegate for your party. Be able to uh, pick the, the, the next president, the individual who's going to actually be the standard bearer for the Democratic Party and our principles. Uh, the caucus process is the best way to, uh, to begin that process. It's the same process for the Nevada GOP. The Nevada Republican Caucus is set for February 23rd, three days after the Democratic Caucus. With Nevada holding the first in the West caucuses, we'll be in the position to shape national opinion and help propel a candidate for the Republican and Democratic Party nomination for president.